Podcasting, podcasting, everybody's talking about podcasting, but where do you really start and how does it make sense for your business? A lot of my clients ask me about podcasting and I want to give you the same advice I give them. Look around in your niche. In my niche, for example, there's a young man named Jonathan Lee. He looks like a teenager, but I, he's in his early 20s, but he does a fantastic job of covering everything in the public speaking space, my space. Only he doesn't look at me as a competitor. In fact, he's had me on his show. He's had all the heavy people who are 20, 30, 40, 50 years older than he is with a wealth of experience. He interviews them, promotes their business, their latest book, but also learns for himself and generates more content for his own fans. So I'm putting in a link below. I urge you to do as I do. Go ahead and subscribe to his podcast. He does video versions and audio versions as well. And this is what I think is the real future. When I was getting involved with this starting 30 some years ago, yeah, I could go to a competitor's workshop or someone a lot more experienced than I could. I could go to the library and check out every book. I could study what Roger Ailes said in a news report somewhere. But I couldn't really talk to mentors, people who are heavyweights in the industry. That's all changed now thanks to podcasting. Because one of the things about having your own podcast is you can call anyone or email anyone in the world and rather than say, hey, I want to pick your brains for free and have you help me, they might not have time for that. But if you say, hey, I want to interview you and promote your latest book, your latest project, well, very few people actually say no to that. And that's what Jonathan does a fantastic job of in his show, The Expressive Leader. Again, if you haven't heard of it yet, Click below, I'm giving you the links so that you can go ahead and sign up or at least listen to one show. And part of what I want you to see, it's he's certainly a good communicator, but it's not like he is Oprah or the world's greatest communicator, speaker, funniest. No, it's just he shows up, he asks questions, he listens, he learns, and he doesn't let the fact that he isn't already famous or already been in the business for 20 years slow him down. And that's what I think is relevant to so many of you. You don't have to be anointed a talk show host. Just pick your niche, interview all the people you already know and respect in the industry or you've heard about. You can't help but get more knowledgeable. Now, here's my warning to a lot of people here in the United States. And I say this as a warning to myself. For many, many, many years, we just had a built-in advantage. We're here in the United States, people assume we're credible, we had easier access to everyone in the United States and therefore access to other English-speaking parts of the world market. I'm here to tell you those days are over because people like John, Jonathan's based in Hong Kong. I have other colleagues based in Tanzania who are doing fabulous jobs with webcast, podcast, Kindle publishing. If you are someone who's born in the United States and you're kind of like me, you're used to sort of <laughs> easy things happening and things being put in your lap, the days are over because I guarantee you there are people in your niche who are based in Asia, who are based in Africa, who are based in small former communist held countries in Eastern Europe who are now competing with you. And they are now broadcasting the whole world through things like audio podcast and video podcast. And if you don't want to get caught by surprise and become irrelevant, you better know what they're doing, number one. Number two, you better compete. And number three, ideally you do it better than they do. Do a show that's even better. So take a listen to Jonathan's show. Again, it might not be the show for you forever, but it's a fantastic template on how you can position yourself in your niche, in your area of expertise, create regular content, and get to know everyone important in your industry. So please check it out. If you've heard it, I'd like to hear your comments. So go ahead and post your comments right here. Or if you have any other comments you want to post on podcasting. If you have questions about podcasting, I do have my own course on that, but go ahead and 
post your comments right here. I'm happy to answer your questions that relate to video or audio podcasting. Although, don't ask me questions about the cameras. I think any camera is fine. And finally, if you want to get even more comfortable at speaking in front of a video camera or a microphone, I do have a free online media training course for you. All you have to do is go to MediaTrainingWorldwide.com and sign up for the free course. One will be sent to you at absolutely no charge. So please do that today.